there's something incredible is waiting to be known by Carl Sagan. My name is Laura Akins and I work at the astronomy department at UT and I um, do a variety of things now in helping support undergraduate education and do instructional technology stuff and I also do public outreach. I started at the university in 1990 as an undergraduate in astronomy and graduated four years later. So now I've been in this job full time for 15 years as of this summer and it's kind of hard to believe those 15 years have gone by so fast, but they have in a way. I would say probably um, it is the fact that I get to use a fairly big sizable telescope on a pretty regular basis. Um, it's almost gotten to the point where it feels very routine to me, but when I take a group of kids up or I have some, some college students come by and it's the first time they've ever seen it, they're still kind of amazed by it. They go, oh wow, that's so cool. And you get to do this all the time? And, you know, after 15 years, some of the novelty has worn off, but actually, like last night in particular, I got some really cool pictures of the moon from the telescope and was sitting back and thinking, you know, this is actually kind of cool. I get to do this. I get paid to do this. So that, that's probably one of the more unique parts of the job. And getting to work with the public is a lot of fun, too. There's always interesting questions to answer, people who want to learn more about something or helping parents try to encourage their kids and, and you know these are our future astronomy undergraduates that we're trying to encourage there. So who can tell me what a sunspot is? Um, oh, hand over here. Yeah. Um, spots where the sun is cooling. It's cooler It's probably a better way yeah of thinking of it but cooling cooler. Um, yeah and basically the reason they look dark is because they're not as hot. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely at one point in my life wanted to be an astronaut. I think probably most kids did at some point. Yes, even the girls. Um, and I, somewhere along the way I, I really started being more intrigued by the, the science side of astronomy as opposed to the human space exploration part. In particular, I do like solar system astronomy. As I heard a scientist yesterday mention in that, that uh, press conference, we are in a way living in the extended atmosphere of the sun because there's the solar wind is constantly coming off the sun and it does affect the earth and the other planets. So there are some practical reasons like that for studying the sun in particular. But also learning about how the earth's climate changes um, studying the atmosphere of Venus, which has a runaway greenhouse effect on it, is something that's very applicable to climate studies on Earth. And on the flip side, understanding why Mars was once wet but now it isn't and how its climate changed might also be applicable to studying climate change on Earth. Um, Alright, I guess I should go back in and keep an eye on my telescope. <laughs> um, I was wondering yeah. how we find, um, gem I think it's Jaminga or Aquila. Or like those, you know, neutron stars or like binary oh, systems. You must be in Craig Wheeler's yes. class. How did I know? <laughs> um, well, a lot of those I guess it's that age old um, kind of just wanting to know what else is out there type thing that we probably have always had. You know, that's the nature of science is just wanting to understand everything around us, whether it's paramecium or the chemical bonds or, you know, what makes the, the sun have sunspots, you know, it's, it's that just wanting to know the answers. And I, I've always liked that. I like puzzles and challenges and learning new things, so science is sort of like the obvious thing for that. And astronomy in particular, as I've said before, has all the pretty pictures too, so that doesn't hurt. Uh, yeah, that's, that's moving, that's it. That's it? Oh yeah. my gosh! Yeah. That is Oh, well, I just wasn't yeah, sure. no, that was it. No, you very good. Is it gone? No, no, no. <laughs> okay, if you guys can see it, the space station's coming up over here. You'll see that it looks like a star that's moving. 